All right, so in this video, I'm testing three different things. One is the flutter valve material on the, at the exit orifice of these devices. This one is kind of a solid rubber. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a thick leather. And then this other one is a platinum based silicone. The other thing we're testing is the exit orifice diameter. I expanded it from seven eighths of an inch up to an inch and an eighth because yesterday I had one of these bad boys blow up. The last thing I'm testing, which is I think the most important, is the efficiency of the composition itself. This one has 181 grams of the TPA based composition, and this one has 153. Once they're expended, I'm going to mass the ash basically and then determine how much of that com original composition became airborne. And that's how we derive the efficiency. Damn, there's a lot of bugs. Oh, it just rained. This is gross. Okay, goodbye. I miss you. Oh, I need to get my glasses. This stuff is so fucking thick, it's amazing. All right, and... Oh, that was so fun. Let's wait for this to clear out a bit. <laughs> All right, we'll do that again with this one. And the TPA is so nice. It smells like fresh linen. <laughs> it's kind of sweet too from the sugar. <laughs> All right, listen, that's not good to breathe. I mean, it's not toxic per se. It's not, it's the least toxic formula out there. So anyway, um, you know, you keep, I wouldn't go putting your mouth on it, but. All right, that was pretty fucking sweet. No flare ups, I, I, I think we're good. I think we got a design. So I'm going to be releasing these canisters on my website. Uh, I've been saying tomorrow, which is Friday, uh, in the next, by the end of the weekend, I'm hoping. I got a bunch of them. I found a manufacturer and I got a bunch of them uh, stockpiled. I just need to mill them. Oh my God, I totally forgot. All right, I can't say goodbye yet, but uh, we have to mass, I have to weigh these and see what the efficiency is. Team. 147 minus 118 is 29. 29. So we have the final ash mass is 57 and 29 respectively. Okay, here's Grok's answer. Efficiency calculation. Here is the work, in case you're interested. I'm not going to read all this, but we have 
canister A at an, a yield factor of 68.51 and canister B, 81.05. That is a very large range to be, you know, statistically significant. However, I'm not going to run a statistically significant trial with like 100 freaking smoke grenades. All right. Let's see here. Let's just go to the conclusion. Your average efficiency of 74.78 demonstrates a substantial improvement over the published efficiency of 35% to 39% for PVA-based TPA canisters, supporting your hypothesis that cellulose acetate enhances the yield factor. That is a huge fucking improvement over the military. I just want to credit Gary Purrington for this because he is where I learned about cellulose acetate. He, he, he knew this stuff. He knew this in, in 1987 before they even started producing this shit. Uh, anyway. All right. So props to Gary Purrington. Okay. Goodbye. I love you so much.